So here I'm going to have a look at uh, front-end editing and customizing the front-end editor view in regards to making the user experience for uh, whoever's submitting a piece of content onto your Joomla site from the front end, just that little bit simpler and a little bit easier as well. So this here is a default Joomla 3 website, which I've installed on a local host. I've also logged into it now as well. So here you can see that I can edit uh, individual posts that are on the site, but I also get this administrator menu that's across the top as well. So I'll click on create a post and here you'll see the view that a user would see when they're uploading something to the website, uh, a piece of content to be exact. So we have the save, cancel, the versions buttons, these various tabs across the top here as well, and of course the editor and a whole bunch of buttons down here too. Now if this is the first time you've seen Joomla or the very first time that you've gone into adding any sort of content, this may be overwhelming for you, wondering what each of these tabs are, whether you have to fill them in or not. If someone was showing you through the site and how to piece together uh, a, a bit of content, they would simply go put in your title, put in a bit of text and hit save. And that's all you really need to do. So if that's the case, uh, how about we we take away some of these extra features and extra extra options from the user so they don't have to worry about them and don't have to think about them when they're editing and adding in pieces of content. So each one of these fields here are just a part of a form and they can be moved around in this particular view or hidden from sight with a little bit of CSS. And doing that can simplify the view for the user in the end so that they don't have to concentrate or think about all these different things. All they have to worry about is their content and each form element that is presented to them in order to get their piece of content online. So here I have a quick little mock-up that I did on another particular website. And this one here, you can see it has been very, very simplified. I've just created a menu link to submit a post and this here is the exact same view that you saw just before, but without any of the extra options. So we can see the title, the alias, and the content editor pane. And if I go back to my version here, I get the title, the content alias has been removed, and I can see category has been added into this particular view as well. So now if I hit there, I can see my various categories. And now this furthermore has been stylized or customized so that the user can only submit to categories that they're allowed to submit to. So with Joomla's ACL or access control levels, it is possible to give individual users different levels of access to different categories. So in this particular option, I've given registered users only access to four different categories, whereas this mock-up website has about 50 different categories within it. Under that, I also have the tags where the user can add in a tags to uh, customize those various aspects. But I've taken away all the publishing options in regards to the publishing date, uh, the author alias, and all sorts of other things. So I've taken away all of these extra options that the user doesn't really need to worry about. Especially the language here. If it's a single language website, they shouldn't really need to see that as well. I've also taken away metadata options in this case too. I didn't think it was necessary for the customer or the person adding in the content to worry about metadata in this case. It wasn't the type of site that uh, the user would need to worry about the metadata. But if they did need to, I could have easily copied in the metadata description into their view when they're posting in uh, content on the front end. Now, I've also added in some extra tips down the right-hand side here to help the user add in special type of content such as images, videos, galleries, and the read more divider which splits the content into the intro copy and the full body text. Nice little tips to help them on their way to getting the content online and, and online properly. Now, if I scroll down a little bit further down here, I'll see that I'm also using a different editor. This is my editor of choice, and it's called JCE, or Joomla Content Editor. 
You can get to that at joomlacontenteditor.net. It's a free download. And as you can see here, I've customized this editor quite a bit as well. So if you're familiar with JCE, you know that it comes with maybe four rows of icons and different options. Again, they're superfluous for many, many users. You don't need to show them that. And in the back end of JCE, you can actually customize what the user sees. So in this case, I only put in the bold italics, left aligned, centered, uh, ordered list and unordered list, particular paragraph stylings. Now I've also customized this as well so that I can only put in paragraphs, heading twos, heading threes, heading fours and code snippets. I've also added in the image, insert image, insert link, remove a link, and clean up your code or clean up your uh, pasted in copy as well. I thought that was fairly important. Now, at the very bottom here, I have a simple image gallery pro working on this particular website so they can insert a gallery easily and a read more button, which they can add into the site so that they can see where the read more dividers are. And that's it. And that's really all the user needs to see. So you can see it is possible to customize the front end of view uh, to really simplify the user experience from the front end of the site compared to how it is by default. Of course, if you're a super administrator, you probably would want a lot of these extra options so you could do this all from the front end. But if you're not, and if you're customizing that particular view for a regular user, you don't really need to show them all those bits and pieces. Now, of course, all of this is done with HTML overrides for Joomla and a little bit of CSS here and there to hide particular elements. Now, we can put rules around that so it will load for particular uh, access levels and we can customize that in any possible way as well. So I hope that's given you a little bit of an overview in how you can possibly customize the front end view for a particular user or for users in general to make their front end editing experience just that little bit easier. If you like this video, press the little like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out more resources at joomlabe.at. And until next time, thank you. Bye.